You know what it is. That's right. It's time to talk money with your money nerd and financial coach. Now, tighten those purse strings and open those ears. It's the Money Talk with Tiff podcast. Hey, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tiffany's Take, where I answer your money questions right here on the podcast. If you want your question answered, go to www.moneytalkwitht.com forward slash X Tiffany, and I'll be more than happy to answer for you. So for the purposes of today's episode, I wanted to get into gratitude. Um, so we're going to do things a little different. I want to talk about the power of gratitude and how it can positively impact your personal finance journey. Now, I want you to realize that gratitude is more than just saying thank you. It's a mindset and that can help you improve your financial health. I practice some of these things every day and some I do want to implement. um, So I know about them and I just need to do them. (laughs) But I wanted to share with you just a list of items that you can start actionable tips that you can start on practicing gratitude in your life. So since it's Thanksgiving, let's hop right on in. So first and foremost, you can start a gratitude journal. So every morning or every evening, write down three things that you're grateful for. And it can be something as simple as seeing the sun or being able to breathe or my kids or being able to get out of the bed. It could be anything. This practice helps shift your focus from what you lack to what you do have. So you can say, I'm thankful for a steady income. And that can remind you that, you know what, you do have some form of financial stability that you've achieved and that you can maintain and improve, right? So write down at least three things that you're grateful for every morning or every evening, or maybe even both. And that can help shift your mindset. Number two, appreciate your achievements. Now, this is something that I have been trying to do more of. So speaking of, I have reached over 100,000 listens for the podcast. Yes, I'm trying so hard to celebrate more of my achievements because that is a form of practicing gratitude. So when it looks When you look at your money, maybe it's paying off a small debt or saving for a big purchase or even starting a side hustle. Every step towards your financial goal deserves recognition. And even if it's not just financial stuff, like I said, 100,000 listens on the podcast, I am so grateful. So celebrating these achievements fosters a positive attitude towards your life, whether it's money management or just the things that you're accomplishing. I noticed when I work, because I work with a therapist and, you know, she said, well, Tiffany, were you celebrated when you were a kid? And I was like, "Um, actually not that much, you know? And so for me, it's awkward. It's kind of awkward celebrating any of my achievements. So this is something that I am actively working through. And so you can join me on my journey and celebrate your achievements as well. So next time you go to the store and you get only what you came to get, let's celebrate that. That is an achievement uh, because it's so easy to get off track. So all the small little things that you do on a daily basis, take some time to appreciate those and celebrate those. So number three, practice mindful spending. So before making a purchase, ask yourself if this item or service truly adds value to your life. Now, I say it in that way because everybody's source of value is different. Everybody's form of value is different. So for some people, that might look like getting some clothes because it adds a value to your life. You love looking good. Maybe it's getting a new perfume. You love smelling good, you know? Um, And so... Ask yourself if this item or service truly adds value to your life. Expressing gratitude for what you already own can curb your impulse buying, allowing you to save more. So ask yourself, do I already have this at home or do I have something similar? Do I really need this item? Is it going to add that much value. And so I like using the Marie Kondo. And if you're not familiar, definitely look her up. But she always says, does it spark joy? And there have been many times that I've gone through my closet and I'm like, you know, this just does not spark joy and I'm going to get rid of it. So before you even purchase the item, ask yourself, is this sparking joy for me? Is this going to add value? And that can help you A, practice gratitude, but also it can help you curb your spending. So number four, now this one may sound weird, 
but I've done this <laughs> and it actually helps. But thank your money each time you spend it or save it and you can create a healthier relationship with your finances. So this practice can make you more conscious of where your money goes, leading to better financial decisions. And I know it sounds weird. I know it sounds awkward, but I have said, for instance, to give you an example, Thank you so much for coming into my life and thank you for giving me the opportunity to spend you um, and therefore add value to my life. And so something simple like that can also help you practice gratitude. And I know it's a little out the box, but it is very helpful. Number five, share the wealth. So generosity is a form of gratitude. So try to consider giving back this holiday season. Donate to a cause you care about or help someone in need. I always tell people, you know, because people are like, well, I don't have money to help. You know, I want to help people, but I don't have the money to. It's not about the money. Sometimes people just need a little extra help. Sometimes organizations just need someone to volunteer. And that can be your form of giving. Mind you, your time is valuable. Your time has a dollar amount. I don't care if you work for someone or work for yourself. Your time has a dollar amount. And so don't discount the power of just giving your time, giving your love, giving your care. That not only brings joy, but also provides a sense of financial security, knowing that you're able to help others, even if it doesn't have to do with money. Okay. So Be generous. If you can do it with money, do it with money. If you can do it with your time, do it with your time. But share the wealth and it will absolutely make you feel better. Um, I practice this all the time and I love it. (laughs) And you'll also notice that as you give more, you receive more. So get out there and share the wealth. Number six, gratitude reminders. So these, this is something that I do implement as well. Most of these I do, Um, but this one I've been doing for quite some time. So you can set reminders on your phone or post sticky notes around your workspace with messages of gratitude. This way they can serve as a constant reminder to appreciate what you have, fostering contentment and reducing the urge to overspend or feel like you're lacking in some sort of way. And what I used to do when I was in corporate, because, you know, sometimes (laughs) you sit in there like, why am I here? What am I doing this for? (laughs) Type of thing. I could think of so many other places I could be. But what I started doing was putting reminders on my phone. And you can actually do this where it actually pops up with the message. And so it used to ring every day at 10 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 7 o'clock. Because I noticed those were the times where I would find myself in a little rut. Like 10 o'clock, you know, I just got to work. I'm like, oh, why did I come? (laughs) You know, 3 o'clock is when I start getting the afternoon, you know, drift where I'm just thinking about other things or what have you. And then seven o'clock is like after I get home and I'm relaxing. And so those were perfect times for me to have these reminders pop up. And these reminders would say things like, I am grateful for the opportunities in front of me, or I love myself, or I am grateful for a roof over my head or I'm grateful for my kids. You know, that was usually the seven o'clock one. And so Set some gratitude reminders, either on your phone or do it with sticky notes. I have sticky notes in my office. Um, I used to have some in my bathroom, um, but those don't last as long because, of course, you take showers and it gets wet. But (laughs) um, I do have some in my office. And so you can just keep them around different places. I have a little or I had a little uh, whiteboard by the door. And so I would write little messages on that for my kids. And so just think of things outside the box that you can constantly remind yourself or remind others of how grateful you are for them. And then number seven, visualize your go- your goals. So create a vision board of all of the goals that you may have, whether it be financial, personal, professional, educational, whatever it is. And seeing these goals daily can inspire gratitude for what you've already accomplished and excitement for what's yet to come. And I love having vision boards and things around my house, um, mainly in my office, because I can look at it and say, you know what, Tiffany, you checked that off, you did this, 
you're on your way to this, you can see it. It's right there, you know? And so it really helps to cement the idea that I have this and I'm grateful for everything that I've accomplished already. And one more thing I'll add, and this is for the business owners, and also you could do it uh, personally too, is to keep a running list of your accomplishments. That's something that I do. So anytime I'm featured in a news outlet or featured on a podcast or somebody mentions me or anything, I speak, whatever it is, I keep a running list of everything that I've ever done with Money Talk with Tiff. And I use that as motivation. First of all, it shows me, I mean, it's gratitude that I've done all of these things. And it also allows you to reminisce on some of that. Like some things I forget about and I'm like, oh, I forgot I did that. You know, I I forgot I had that opportunity <laughs> type of thing. And it helps me be grateful for those opportunities. Like sometimes when things are out of sight, out of mind, you forget about it. But if you keep a running list, you can go through whenever you're feeling in a funk, whenever you're feeling like, oh my gosh, why am I doing this? Why am I here? Whatever, whatever. You can go back through that list and say, you know what? This is why. This is why. Because I've helped these this amount of people or this audience was able to experience what I had to say, whatever it is, but you can use that and how it would look personally. Maybe you write down everything, all the achievements, maybe graduations, maybe when you were acknowledged at work, whatever the case may be. And those acknowledgements at work, y'all, because I did this when I was in corporate, keep track of those because you can bring those up during your um, raise conversation um, when you're looking at your, your yearly. So anyway, side note, but make sure you're doing that for yourself first and foremost, and it can help you in more ways than one for businesses. It can help you, you know, if you have a potential client, you can say, well, I did this with such and such who's similar to you. And so this is what I have to offer. If you work for someone, you can say, look, this is what I did for the company, or this is what I did to help. And so it just helps you in more ways than one to reach your best self. So thank you so much for listening to this episode about gratitude. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. And during this Thanksgiving week, I hope you spend as much time with your family as possible and friends, because sometimes people have friends giving. I did that a few years before. Um, so I hope you spend as much time as possible with your loved ones and you practice these gratitude things. And don't just let it be for one day. Let this start a habit of gratitude because it can help you do more, be more and see more. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you for listening, joining, and being a part of the Money Talk with Tiff podcast this week. You can check Tiff out every Thursday for a new Money Talk podcast. But if you just can't wait until next week, you can listen to previous podcast episodes at moneytalkwitht.com or follow Tiff on all social media platforms at Money Talk with T. Until next time, spend wise by spending less than you make. A word to the money wise is always sufficient. Thank you.